Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at several Newton's Telescope replicas. These are meant to be imitations of Newton's Telescope that was originally built in 1672 or so. And they are in various scales, various degrees of quality, and various degrees of accuracy as well. This one is my replica. I made this by hand. I've got a whole video about this one. So you may want to check that one out and see why it's got the interesting cumberweight system going on there. This one is a toy made by Hasbro back in the maybe 70s, 80s, 90s, I'm not sure when. But it's a, basically a toy. It is supposed to be a working toy. This is from a Japanese um, toy manufacturer. It's a model that you build from a kit. This is the Franklin Mint. This is uh, something that you see once in a while. It's a very ornate replica. This one is from Vixen. This is a 70 millimeter. They essentially took a 70 millimeter uh, reflector and put it on a Newtonian style mount and uh, dress it up to look like Newton's original telescope. Uh, and it's actually a pretty good little 70 millimeter telescope. We'll talk about these four in more detail, plus I've got a couple of other really interesting ones to talk about. Let's talk about the difference in size of these replicas. There's only one here that is just about the right scale, and that is this one. This is the Franklin Mint replica. It's uh, mostly just uh, a model and uh, in many respects not very accurate. None of this fancy decoration was on Newton's original telescope, of course. Um, but the one thing they got right with this is the scale. The scale is almost exactly perfect. It's just about exactly the same size as Newton's telescope. So it's, uh, it's correct in that sense. It's got some other attributes that make it pretty close to being correct. But, for example, this doesn't even work. It, it doesn't function, doesn't do anything. Um, this does show an image, but it's, uh, it's not a very good image. It's, it's essentially a toy. Um, not a really good telescope in a functional sense. But as a replica, it's very nice because it's the right scale. This is exactly right. Here we have it, Inventor Classics by Hasbro. Snapped together parts, no cement needed. Newton Telescope, authentic working replica. Let's take a look at what we have inside the box. Hmm. Ah, oh, there's the mirror. That's the It took me about five minutes. This is something I just received from Japan. It's a combination magazine and a kit to build a toy telescope, I think. Not at all clear. This is interesting. The box is integral with the magazine board. Next thing to do is to pull this stuff out of the box. Well, after about an hour of struggling with uh, my phone app to try and read the instructions, 
uh, I was able to get this put together and it does work although it's like all the others it doesn't work very well um, it's a little Newtonian telescope pretty cheesy but not bad This is Newton's Anniversary Telescope Replica by Vixen. Uh, it came out a few years ago and it's meant to be a, a replica in a good quality working little telescope. And it is, it's got all the correct stuff to make it a good decent working telescope. It even comes in a nice big crate, set of instructions, wooden crate, how often do you see that? Let's have a closer look at this Vixen. First of all, you can see that it's, this is a genuine telescope. It has um, <clears throat> a nice little three-fold kind of a secondary mirror mount in there. The focusing mechanism for this is actually very much like the original. You turn this screw and the back part of the tube here moves back and forth, just like on Newton's original. The eyepiece itself is fixed. You put it in there and screw it down. You can adjust it a little bit here, but your focusing is done back here. Very cool, very nice. The optics on this scope are quite good. It's not a bad little telescope. It's a little bit impractical to use because of this um, somewhat awkward mount. It's just, you know, these ball kind of mounts are not great. When it's done properly, a ball mount is a thing of beauty. This one is uh, just, you can see it's got a little bit, the friction there that's necessary to hold the thing up is causing this to be kind of a pain. This one is balanced beautifully. This is an AstroScan, a modern classic. Notice how smooth that is. It's just beautiful. Also compare it to this one. Easy, smooth, you can point it anywhere. Virtually frictionless. Just enough friction to hold it in place when it's done. You can move it along quite easily. Just easily. This one, it's a pain. It's too much friction necessary to hold the telescope in place. Here's a sort of a modern descendant of the original Newton scope. A little Newtonian with a, a nice Dobsonian kind of a mount. Very easy to move around. You can adjust the friction here very nicely. So it's a, a much easier telescope to use. This is, by the way, about the same aperture, roughly 70 millimeters. So these are almost identical telescopes. This one is on a little bit more efficient mount. This one is pretty much decorative. This is a little replica by Tal. It's about the same size as the toy telescopes, but this one has usable optics in it. Really quite a nice little scope. This is a spectacular telescope. It's a full-on reproduction in all detail of Newton's original telescope, including a handmade metal mirror. Quite spectacular. If you're interested in this, you should definitely look at the links in the description below. You will love it. I hope you enjoyed having a look at these Newton's Telescope replicas. Thank you for watching.